Let's take a few breaths together. Take a deep breath in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, release, two, three, four. Excellent. Let's just do that again. Take a deep breath in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, release, two, three, four. One more time. Take a deep breath in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, release, two, three, four. Continue to breathe deeply in and out. I want you to listen to the sound of my voice and my voice alone. Any noise you might hear, it's okay. It's just life happening and it can wait. This is your time. This meditation will be different than maybe what you're used to. This meditation brings transformation by rewiring your brain and heart at the same time. When you have your inner witnesses of your brain and heart agree, things shift fast. Your brain will self-sabotage you if it doesn't have the information it needs to support your current belief system that you're trying to shift into, which is why in the beginning of this meditation, the information your brain needs to feel safe and to receive this to empower the truth that you want to embody needs to be released. The voice of your mind is what directs your brain and your brain feeds your heart with that information and is running your actions 95% of the time. So since the voice of your mind is sending the information, this is what this meditation will do. Activate your inner voice to create the transformation that you seek. Every 10 seconds, our brain checks in with the voice of our mind. It uses that information to create a prediction in order to influence your next move. This is why this meditation works so well. It's designed to give your brain a new internal dialogue. It is always looking for the truth to implement. Your internal dialogue is only a belief, a story. It's how you're wired to succeed. Words matter because they become matter. They become flesh, eventually. As you continue to nurture the story that you believe, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Your brain needs this information to create a new self-fulfilling prophecy, the one you actually want. In this meditation, we are rewiring our minds around the power of our thoughts James 3 reminds us that if anyone is never at fault in what they say, they're perfect or a mature person, able to keep their whole body in check. Words are the power source to turn things around. We will use words as a mechanism to help you transform your thoughts. Romans 12 2 tells us, do not conform to the pattern of this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. We are renewing our minds, aligning our thoughts with God's truth. As we do this, we enter into God's rest, trusting His promises and His finished work. We're shown this in Proverbs 4.23 in the GNT, where we are reminded that what we think about is what is created. This is crucial to remember because thoughts are the foundation of your actions. If you want better results, you just need to embody new thoughts. You're literally one embodied thought away from what you want. Words are seeds. Thoughts internalize, materialize. They will take form into your reality eventually. It's not a matter of if, but when. 
every seed has its own due season. I will now speak as the voice of your mind, giving directions to your beautiful brain, since every 10 seconds, our brain checks in with the voice of our mind. This is one reason we're told to speak things that be not as though they were. Your brain is leading you right to what you're continually saying, even in your internal dialogue. You can either repeat what I'm saying, nod your head, rock back and forth, or simply by the listening of this audio, we're coming into agreement around this for you. Let's begin. I will now speak as a voice of your mind. I will now give you brain new thoughts to think about so that you can therefore create it into my reality. I command you brain to execute the following. It's a lie that my thoughts are beyond my control. It is a lie that my thoughts are beyond my control. It's a lie that my thoughts are beyond my control. My mind responds quickly and easily to my efforts to align with God's truth. My mind responds quickly and easily to my efforts to align with God's truth. My mind responds quickly and easily to my efforts to align with God's truth. It's a lie that I have to struggle with negative thoughts. It is a lie that I have to struggle with negative thoughts. It's a lie that I have to struggle with negative thoughts. I bridle my mind with my words. I speak peace and rest over myself. My thoughts obey my commands for effortless transformation. I bridle my mind with my words. I speak peace and rest over myself. My thoughts obey my commands for effortless transformation. I bridle my mind with my words. I speak peace and rest over myself. My thoughts obey my commands for effortless transformation. I am blessed with a mind that works in harmony with God's truth. I am blessed with a mind that works in harmony with God's truth. I am blessed with a mind that works in harmony with God's truth. I disallow the lie that controlling my thoughts is hard to do. I disallow it from continuing to work in me and therefore through me into my life. Your work is now null and void. I call for a crop failure. I disallow these lies, the lies that tell me that controlling my thoughts is difficult to continue to work in me and therefore through me into my life. Your work is now null and void. I call forth a crop failure. I disallow the lie that con- controlling my thoughts is hard. I disallow it from continuing to work in me and therefore through me into my life. Your work is now null and void. I call forth a crop failure. My mind naturally and effortlessly aligns with God's thoughts. My mind naturally and effortlessly aligns with God's thoughts. My mind naturally and effortlessly aligns with God's thoughts. God aligns my thoughts with his perfect will, and today is no exception. God aligns my thoughts with his perfect will. Today is no exception. God aligns my thoughts with his perfect will. Today is no exception. I yield the voice of my mind, and I command you, brain, to take directions from the voice of the mind of Christ within me around this. I yield the voice of my mind and command you, brain, to take directions from the voice of the mind of Christ within me around this. I yield the voice of my mind and I command you, brain, to take directions from the voice of the mind of Christ within me around this. My desired reality is now catching up to these truths. I easily choose thoughts that align with God's word. 
my mind craves his truth. I enjoy meditating on scripture. I walk in peace and rest daily. My desired reality is now catching up to these truths. I easily choose thoughts that align with God's word. My mind craves his truth. I enjoy meditating on scripture. I walk in peace and rest daily. My desired reality is now catching up to these truths. I easily choose thoughts that align with God's word. My mind craves his truth. I enjoy meditating on scripture. I walk in peace and rest daily. This is a gift from God. He passionately loves me. This is a gift from God. He passionately loves me. This is a gift from God. He passionately loves me. This is my chosen belief that thereby creates the new predictions you will make brain and therefore my reality. I seal this now in my brain. Brain, in the name of my King Jesus, you have your orders executed. So be it.